What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Scuba Driver. My name is Steven. If you're new to the channel, this is my uh, 2013 Scion FRS. Just a quick update. Uh, back in February, we did a few things to the car. We got the front lip done. I did the blacked out side markers, the side skirt. I redid and re-cleared some of the carbon fiber on the car. And I uh, didn't even videotape this because I'm a little embarrassed about it, but I uh, actually tinted the headlights recently using, uh, what do we use? We use some Hillcoat lens tint. And uh, versus buying some new headlights, I thought it'd actually look pretty good. But today we got a new part for the car, so let's check it out. Also, I'm uh, not supposed to really be drinking Bang Energy drinks anymore. I haven't really held up my promise to my wife about that, but uh, oh my gosh, they are so good. And uh, it just kind of helps me get, get me through my day. What's your favorite flavor of Bang? Let me know in the comments below. But one thing I have stuck to my word about is uh, car parts. I've said recently uh, to complete the ground effects kit, I wanted to, uh, you know, I got the front lip, the side skirts, but I wanted a uh, rear lip, uh, rear diffuser lip down there. So uh, we actually got this one here. This is uh, fresh off of eBay. Uh, I've been noticing a trend. A lot of my car parts have been cheap off of eBay recently. I think I got this for about like 30 or $40. Um, came here pretty quickly, but I uh, haven't even test fitted it on the car yet. But the idea of today's video is to get this bolted up to the car. So let's see how it works. Now this of course came with, uh, looks like some uh, adhesion tape and some adhesion promoter, uh, all in like Chinese of course. And uh, came with some mounting hardware. Looks like we got some screws, some clips, and some, uh, some little pins and tabs there. So we'll see how this all mounts up, but I already see some holes here that we're gonna have to screw into the car. And uh, I think we'll just put the tape kind of right around the bottom here. But uh, let's see how, let's see how it fits up there. So obviously we don't have it mounted on there. I just got some uh, <laughs> a little piece of Tupperware there to kind of hold it up, but this is essentially what it's going to look like. Uh, I think it kind of gives it a little bit more aggressive look, kind of completes that ground effects kit. I think I'll end up getting some uh, side spats that kind of come off the back of it, uh, give it a little bit more look, but uh, let's see how it bolts on there. Okay, so I decided to go ahead and get the car in the air. Um, to do this install, it'll be a little bit easier to go under it. But I thought I think I already know the first step, I had to figure out where all this hardware goes. These two uh, clips right under the, uh, rear diffuser here. I'm going to pop these off and also these clips right here uh, in the middle. Once I get those off, I should be able to just kind of clip that on there and we'll see where to go from there. Of course, I've got my uh, clip puller tool here. So we'll just see if we can get, let's see if we can uh, get in there. All right, so I pop those four cl clips off using my little uh, handy dandy clip puller here. Makes life so much simpler. So I think uh, we're just going to take this diffuser and uh, these clips, uh, I'll probably put some brand new ones on there, but these clips should just go through the uh, through the holes on the side here. So we'll see how it bolts up. I decided to go ahead and use the uh, the brand new clips that came with it, and uh, since they're in a little bit better shape. And uh, so far it's just popping right on there. So let me see if I can get these small clips back in where they came from, which is uh, right in the middle of the diffuser here. It looks like they should just pop right in there as well. There goes nothing. Might be a little short, so I'm gonna see. Try here one more time. It's a little short. The uh, clips that came off the uh, original part here. So I actually have some Subaru clips that I keep in the garage. So I'm gonna see if, which ones will fit in there. So this is my uh, clip kit I got on Amazon. These are uh, Subaru, uh, I think like pretty much almost OEM quality clips. And uh, as you can see, it comes with a really wide assortment. If you're like me, I break clips all the time. I actually came with a little clip puller tool as well, which is really, really handy. But I actually found some clips. I think this size right here should fit right onto the bottom of the bumper. That one's in. Grab another one here. That one's in too. And I think just one more right here will do the trick. We'll see how it's holding up. All right, so far so good, guys. As you can see, I'll see if I can get under here and show you guys. Let's see. I got this clip on the side here. This is the big clip that I replaced. I've got two clips right here. This actually came uh, <laughs> factory with some clips right here. It's like you, people, they knew that people were gonna put diffusers on. Again, on this side, 
of the uh, the third brake light there and then another big clip there it's pretty good on there except for the sides here so this part will actually just kind of slide right into there and then i could either screw it on there or instead of screwing into the bumper again i'm probably just going to use i'll probably just end up using some gorilla tape and see if it holds it on so let's get some tape and see what it looks like all right i know the lighting's kind of tough but uh we got it on the car uh very easy i'm actually pretty surprised uh so what I did on the ends here is I used some, uh, I got some 3M, uh, it's like the super strength double-sided tape. I used it on the louvers and a few other parts of my car. Really holds stuff on. And all I did was I cut a couple of small pieces and on the ends here where it actually sticks into the bumper, I put a three, piece of 3M tape right there and it held it on really nice. Now of course you could go in and screw in right here, but uh, I don't know if I'm gonna keep this on my car forever, so I don't really know if I feel comfortable screwing into my back bumper again. Yeah, I know this is a weird angle, but it's okay. Um, <laughs> so for right now, I'm just gonna keep it pinned on and uh, with the uh, 3M, or sorry, the Gorilla double-sided tape. So uh, let's get it back on the ground and see what it looks like. So I have to uh, roll my window down in the garage. <laughs> I wanna open my door in it. Uh, only when I'm on the edge of the garage. I guess that's uh, vertical door problems, right? I got the car out of the garage and I can already tell it's looking pretty nice. I don't know how you can see if you can see it right here, but my car is absolutely freaking disgusting. It's been raining for the past few days in North Carolina, like always it seems. So I'm gonna wash the car and then we'll get a closer look at the diffuser. Just like that, we got the car all cleaned up. And I'm really digging the look of this rear diffuser. I know uh, today's sunlight is not doing this thing any justice, so it's kind of hard to see. I'll try and get some better pictures, but uh, ended up going on there pretty nicely. And uh, in all honesty, I actually went back and uh, I put a couple of the screws into the sides uh, of the back part there, just because I wasn't, I didn't really trust that the tape would uh, hold it on there perfectly. So went back and hit it with two screws, went on this side, went on that side right behind, uh, you know, right on the corners there. and. I think it's going to hold on there pretty nicely. For being a, a cheap eBay diffuser, I'd say it uh, looks pretty good. Kind of completes the uh, the ground effects kit we got going on there. Um, anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you like uh, this diffuser? Um, some say, you know, ordering these parts off of eBay, it's not the best idea. But, uh, you know, not everybody has like a huge budget for these things. So it, the fact that I can get that thing for like 30 or 40 bucks to complete the look, uh, I think it looks really, really good. But anyways, uh, we'll get some few slow-mo shots here. I'll be out at Carson Coffee this Saturday, so I hope to see some of you guys out there. Hopefully we'll uh, ride up with the 86s if I get up on time this, uh, this month. Anyways, thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.